Hello everyone, welcome to my first Java programming tutorial. This tutorial is for beginners to Java. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple Java program that will iterate through an array of strings and print them out onto the console using an enhanced for loop. You will learn about Java arrays, enhanced for loops, and how to make a basic Java program. I will go through and explain each piece of code step by step. The first thing that you will need to do when you create a Java program is name your class. Your class should be named the same thing as your file. My file is tutorial.java, so my class will also be called tutorial. We will type public class tutorial, then open and closed curly brackets. The keyword public is a Java keyword that makes this class visible to all other classes within our project. Your other classes will be able to access the public fields and methods within this class. The word class is declaring tutorial as a Java class. The next thing to do is write our main method. All programs in Java are executed by calling the main method. The main method will call all of the other methods that you need to run within your application. We will type public static void main open parentheses string args open and close bracket and close parentheses. Then open and closed curly brackets. This method is static meaning that you can access this method without creating an object for the class to which it belongs. Void means that this method does not return anything. Main takes an argument which is an array of strings. The runtime system passes information to your application through this string of arrays. Next we will type string open and close brackets space, names, then the equal sign, open curly brace, quotations, and then within the quotations Alan Johnson. So that's a string, and then a comma for the next item within our array, which will also be within quotations since it's a string, and it will be Ella Kirkland, comma, and then within quotations, Cynthia Madison. And then closed curly braces and semicolon. In this line, we are declaring and initializing an array of strings. You type string and then the symbol for an array, which is an open bracket, closed bracket. Then a name for your array. You initialize it by writing an equal sign, and then typing in the string values that you'd like to store within the array. Strings are contained within quotation marks. Array items are separated by commas. One way that we could see the values contained within this array would be to print the value to the screen using the index. All arrays start with an index of zero. If you are not familiar with the type array, you can take a look at docs.oracle.com. Here it says an array is a container object that holds a fixed number of values of a single type. The length of the array is established when the array is created. This is a nice illustration to provide a visual example of what an array is. Each one of these spaces holds a value, with the first value being held at the first index or zero. Let's type the following, system.out.println, open parentheses, names, open bracket, zero, closed bracket, closed parentheses, semicolon. Copy and paste that line two more times and change the second and third zero to one and two. Now let's run our program. The result is that all of the items within our array are being printed to the console. System, as seen here, is a class within the Java library. Out is a field within the system class that is used for standard output stream. 
Print ln is a method that prints a line. This method takes a parameter, which is the value that you want to display on the console. An easier way to print these values to our console would be to iterate through an array using an, an enhanced for loop. Let's look again at docs.oracle.com within the section about the for statement. We will scroll down to the section about enhanced for loops. Here it says, the for statement also has another form designed for iteration through collections and arrays. This form is sometimes referred to as the enhanced for statement and can be used to make loops more compact and easy to read. I've highlighted the enhanced for loop example for you to view. Now we will create an enhanced for loop for our program. First delete the three lines where we were printing out the array values by index. Now write for space open parentheses string space in space colon space names close parentheses then open and close curly braces. This declares a variable in of type string to house the values held at each index within our names array as we iterate through it. Then within the curly braces type system.out.println open parentheses in close parentheses semicolon. Now let's run our program again. The result is that all of the items within our array are printed to the console. Our enhanced for loop started at the zero index of names array and then printed out the value of each index within the array. If you found this tutorial useful and helpful, then please subscribe to my channel Bootstrap CSS Girl and request new tutorials in the comments.